Today, our topic is Leech Respiratory System in Structural Organization of Animals, Unit 13, Chapter 13 in Biology. Leech Respiratory System. So, respiration means what? Exchange of gases. In leech, respiration takes place through skin. So, in the skin, you have a fine network-like structure called capillaries. The cap inside the capillaries, a fluid is seen. That fluid is called hemocelic fluid, which extends into the, that is, into the cells of the epidermis. So, the exchange of gases, that is, respiratory gases, takes place through diffusion. So, diffusion means, what means? From a region of higher concentration, that is the solution or the gas with higher concentration, the region of the solution or gas from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. That is called diffusion. And think, inside the body of the leech, the oxygen content is less and outside it is higher the oxygen content. Now what happened? This oxygen will diffuse through the skin and enter into the body of the leech. Same wise, that is vice versa. The carbon dioxide is diffuses from the body of the leech to the outside. So this process is called diffusion. Diffusion means from a region of higher concentration to a region of lower concentration. It travels, that is oxygen, that is gases or solution. Oxygen dissolved in water diffuses through the skin into hemocelic fluid while carbon dioxide diffuses out. The same procedure what I say. So and that is in water oxygen was there and the oxygen diffuses through the skin inside the, um, inside the uh, leech. And, it, and the same way when the oxygen enters into the body of the leech, but what will be excel? That is carbon dioxide will come out through diffusion process. The skin is kept moister and slimy due to the secretion of mucus which also prevents that is it's from drying. So the skin is moist. Always the skin will be moist and slimy. Slimy means slippery like. So it uh, due to the secretion of the mucus. mucus. So this mucus helps in the the skin to be not, uh, this helps to prevent the drying of the skin. Okay. Next, we move on to the circulatory system. In leech, the circulatory system is brought about by the hemocelic system. Hemo means itself, it deals with the blood. And there is no true blood vessels. So, in a leech, there is no blood vessels. So here the blood vessels are replaced by channels called hemocelic channels or canals filled with blood like fluid. So there is no formal blood vessels. Instead of that they have uh, hemocelic channels or the canal fluid with blood like that is filled with the canals filled with blood like fluid. The coelomic fluid contains hemoglobin that is the blood which carries the oxygen. There are four longitudinal channels. So one on the above, that is upper side, drosteral means upper side of the alimentary canal and one is below the alimentary canal and two may be present at the sides, both the sides of the alimentary canal. So there are four longitudinal canals. One is on the drosteral means above the alimentary canal and another one is below the alimentary canal and the other two at the sides, the lateral sides means the sides of the alimentary canal and they are act as a heart and the inner values also. Okay, valves or values not inner valves. Okay, here you shouldn't uh, pronounce it as value, valves. Okay, all the four chambers are connected together posteriorly in the 26th segment. So, this four channels are connected in the 26th segment, okay, 26th segment, keep it in mind, this four channels are connected in the 26th, all are connected in the 26th segment. Next, we move on to the nervous system. The central nervous system consists of a nerve ring 
and a pair of ventral cord. So, nerve ring and a pair of ventral cord. So, you can see here in this diagram a ventral cord which is, which is, uh, think it like the spinal cord of us. So, ventral nerve cord and you can see the brain here and the gam that is ganglion. Okay. So, the central nervous system has a nerve ring and a pair of ventral nerve cord. The nerve ring is surrounded by pharynx. So, where it is present? So, it is present near this pharynx and the pharynx surrounds the nerve ring and is formed of supraparyngeal ganglion. So, this is the brain position. So, the brain was surrounded by pharynx and it is called as supraparyngeal ganglion or brain. Circumparyngeal connect, uh, connective and subparyngeal ganglion. So, it is circumparyngeal gan connective and subparyngeal ganglion. So, the subparyngeal ganglion lies below the pharynx and is formed by the fusion of four pairs of ganglion. So, this lies below the pharynx that is the subparyngeal ganglion is present below the pharynx and it forms a fusion of four pairs of ganglion. Okay. Now, the excretory system. The excretory system here it is segmented, segmentation with the tubules like structure called nephridia. And 17 pairs of nephridia are seen which are opened out by the nephridiophores starting from 6th to 22 segments that is 22nd section 6th to 22 segments. The nephridiophores are present because it is 17 pairs of nephridia which opens into nephridiophores and it is seen from the 6th to 22nd segment of the leech body. Hope you understand, understand the topic. If you have any doubts, post your doubts in the comment box. Give a thumbs up, share and subscribe to Science Easy Tech channel.